Uh, day number three right now. 15 minutes to eight. Oh, uh, we're really tired. Last night we had a power surge with the, the generator and burned a lot of our electrical equipment. Most importantly, the battery charger for the cameras. So we, were, we are down, right, right now we are down to one battery charger. We had two, one got burned and um, we are down to the last one. So I had no choice but to take turns watching the generator set all the way until 2 o'clock in the morning so that you know it doesn't have another surge. But for some weird reason the generator was, was jumping around from, yeah the voltage was just not stable so it was jumping around and as soon as it, it, was, it was showing indication that it was going to fluctuate in surge, we had to pull the plug out so I was on standby until 2 o'clock. I only managed to sleep until I think a little bit after 2 and we had to wake up early. Woke up at 6 today, but it was really, yeah, I felt really tired. So it was a slow start to the day, slow start to the day today. Yeah, I just hope, you know, the fishing is, is going to be amazing. And most importantly, we have enough battery life to for the whole day. I think we managed to charge three full batteries, two probably, two full batteries and one half charge. We're going to go up to uh, Paparo and see how how's the fishing there. Still trying to put the rod to a proper test. Let's see how it goes. Iya, langsung Pak Anul ingat kemarin saya main sama Pak Yeshua di tengah itu. Iya. Kita ke sana, saya mau main umpan dalam dulu. Oke. Okay. Okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no! bangun semua orang lah ini woi 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 ya ya big one big one big ya this is a big one definitely a big one 
Yeah. Yes, this is what we've been waiting for. Huh? I like this fish. I... Nah, big one, this is a big goddamn monster. Uh, at least 10 kilos this one. Mundo, 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 mundo. Right. Come on, come on, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Yeah, that's a big fat one, yep. Yep, big fat one, yep. Look at that fish! Now this is a fish! Oh. Woo! This is a proper fish! <sighs> nice big fish, but you see the hook. The hooks is gone under the gills, so I don't want to handle this fish. I know if I remove the hooks now, I might lose I must, I might risk losing the fish, but the photo is not important for me. This fish is more important. So it's, it's important that I try to release it first, let it breathe. Properly stuck, this one. All right, all right, all right. I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Kedangkal, yeah? Yeah, sudah. The gill flaps, right under the gill flaps, so it will struggle to breathe. If always it's important that this fish survives. For me, it's most special, most especially. I don't care even if I don't get a picture with it. I of the fish is what matters the most. Could have used a better set of pliers. All right, we got that out. Now you see, now the fish seems more happy. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. I like that, I like that. You see that the fish was flipping just now, right? Now, you see it's, it's, start, it's starting to swim again. That is what I like. Maju, 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 like 20 pounder, right? The 20 pounders like this, they, they, they breed. They breed and they've got lots of experience uh, of this particular lake. So they know what are the hazards, they know the weather changes, they know everything, right? Unlike the new ones, I mean the babies, you know, they still got a lot to learn. So for me, big fish like this, is very important that you handle them very well to optimize the survival rate, you know? Proper brawler. This is a proper brawler. Real proper brawler. All right, he looks good. He looks healthy. He looks good. I'm going to pick him up on the boat. But I don't know, the black one's So I'm going to pick him up on the boat. We're going to take a quick picture. It's shallow here. So once I've taken a picture, I'm going to release him really quick. I don't want to handle him too long. I like to keep the fish in the water. Saya udah rencana dari bapak sebelum kita, kalau kita pulang nggak ada ikan ya. Yeah. Saya mau suruh Francis berenang ke kampung itu. <laughs> <laughs> Karena mulut dia nggak bisa ikan itu. Ah baru santai ya. Tadinya stres yeah. sungguh saya. <laughs> Wah aduh. So yeah. Oh that was a good fish. That was. A good fish that was really a good fish it was tough the whole day the weather was so what, what do you call this weather it's sucky it was sucky weather you know fish just did not want to come out and play and, and i was giving up it was close to 11 o'clock i was telling myself ah oh, maybe i should just go back and rest you know since the I didn't have enough sleep anyway. And yeah, the boatman said, no, let's try this stretch. And we, when we tried this stretch and I just made that one cast and I saw that wave, that body of wave right behind that lure. And I knew that that was a fish. That was a big one coming right behind it. And I was praying hard and boom, it took it, right? Good thing that it took and it ran. It did not come towards the boat. So I, I actually could feel the rod, right? I could really feel the rod. And um, yeah, I, the rod did a lot of the work. All I did was very minimal body work and rod uh, flexing as much as possible so that the backbone does the most of the work. Um, I lightly thumped the spool. I'm already using a Steez A 
I think he's got what seven kilos of drag. Yeah, fully locked, lightly thumbed the spool, and it was still peeling out drag like it didn't care. That is black bass. That is why I traveled this far to put these rods on that bloody fish. That's one good fish. Let's hope to get more. I'm really happy how how the rod performed. You know, it's for a heavy rod, it's actually lightweight. Yeah, to me that was a very good test. Very, very good test. Everything was still under control. I was having fun. That's the beauty of the Grandmaster. The Grandmaster rods here. So if you're gonna go on now, you're gonna see if you can put more fish. This is already day number three. That is our first proper monster. We had another monster the other day, but then we, yeah. <laughs> That was a good fish just now. Very rough day fishing, but that was definitely a good fish. Yeah, so we're gonna, we stopped to have lunch, and then hopefully I gotta test out the rods even further. So today is gonna be the last day I'm gonna use top water. I, I told myself something like that. You know, if, if the bite slows down, I'm gonna stop having fun and start doing some real business. The lake is not supposed to be, the water level of the lake is not supposed to be this high. It's supposed to be um, much lower. So the fish now has, yeah, they're, they're, no, they're no longer in congregating in one area, you know fishing ground is opened up. The strategy also has to change now. I, I have to change strategies. I have to use uh, something else. I gotta I got, I got use something deep. Probably I'll, I'll throw the spinner bait somewhere where I can see uh, chances of you know, fish, fish hanging out, lunking below under fallen logs or something like that. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have fun just this evening, I promise. Then I'm gonna start doing the real work. All right, that's it, we're gonna go for lunch. All right, so we've had lunch, wild ball from last night. That was some good food. It's, it had been some time since I had some meat, been just eggs and rice for the past three days. Good to have a change of diet. So yeah, this morning was a good lesson in not giving up. It's frustrating because you know, when we went down to Papa Rock, we didn't get much action. It was literally that quiet, right? And the weather was so gloomy. It was just it's not exactly the best weather. Just go out there and cast and see what happens. So we saw, we came up river just now, started flying the drone. What I think is up river is, seems to be like a sweet spot. This reminds me of, of spot tail black bass. And we know that there is spot tail black bass in Papua. Everything is ideal. Fast flowing water, clear. Uh, water is coming out from the mountain. So yeah, we want to check it out. But the thing is that you come across this fallen Fancy is trying to chop it off. See if we can if we can get a clearance for us to 
go through. So what? Advance ini kau tumbang itu gimana gitu mau lalu? Wah. Ya. Ya, advance lagi lagi lagi. Ya. Ya, mantap advance. Bye. <laughs> Kabar nanti saya buka bos. Ambil part. Yeah. Okay, we unfortunately the river became a little bit too narrow for us to. Just you know, we we had an uh, we had an aerial view of of this area right uh, just before we made a decision to go inside this river and um, I could see big bodies of water ahead which was at least one two kilometers away and that was why I made the decision let's let's go in let's and the boatmen you know they being them hardcore they didn't they said like yeah boss let's do that so we went in but the rivers became a little bit too shallow for my liking uh, I did not well we could have proceeded you know we could have proceeded but I'm pretty sure it would have taken us at least three four hours you know cut, chopping down on all, all that that wood fallen wood and everything it would have taken us a lot of time we would have wasted precious fishing time so I'll, I'll just have to save this river for my next expedition I'm definitely coming back in October so I'll, I'll just save it for October come back this time with chainsaws you know properly prepared probably a smaller boat and then go up you know we've, i've done this kind of explorations before and usually you know in this kind of little streams that that leads up to big bodies of water always has the best fishing always without fail Badass. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, yes. Look at the band on that rod, huh? Small one. Probably three, four kilos, I guess, this one. Not, not too big, this one. I'm not gonna thumb this. Yeah, I'm just gonna pump this guy out. Yep. Yo, pulang. Uh, end of day three. Uh, I'm tired from last night. I, to be honest, I just want to have some dinner and sleep. Sleep, nothing much. I'm probably gonna have some deer tomorrow. I'm excited about that. <laughs>